hello very very good morning my dear students i hope that you might have understood the previous session first part of a sunny morning play or lesson so we must learn second of two very well to score a uh, minimum uh, six plus five twelve marks easy twelve marks today i am going to explain you love story between dona lara and don gonzalo when they were young until now they have not recognized each other they were quarreling teasing joking friendly talking started when they took a pinch of snuff when they sneezed each other three three times i will give the short summary of the previous session dona lara was dona lara is a 70 year old lady she comes to the park she is sitting on a bench she has offered bread crumbs bread pieces of bread to the birds they are feeding on the bread crumbs do this tom gonzalo came to the same park in madrid city and while while he is walking he is making a big sound in there the birds were scared and they have flown away because of that one dona lara was is very angry Don Gonzalo did not care for birds and lark. Then what happened? There was no vacant bench. Don Gonzalo is in search of a full vacant bench for himself, but there is no vacant bench. Finally, he decides to sit beside Dona Lara. Both of them are accusing each other, and Dona Lara is teasing Don Gonzalo so. Oh, much indeed! It was. It is horrible. He is unable to answer her questions under like a telescope using handkerchief, and it is called shoe brush. Jokes are there. Whether he can, he is fit to kill time indeed, and he is so smart indeed, impatient. She is teasing him so much indeed, and finally what happened? When Don Gonzalo offers a snuff box to Dona Lara, she takes a small pinch of the snuff, small quantity of the snuff. Then both of them have become friends indeed. Now Don Gonzalo has started to read the book given by Junito, and while he is reading, he is reading one poem. Twenty years has passed. Then Don Gonzalo told Dona Lara that. He is the friend of Campamar in Valencia city. It is very very important. This dialogue changes the whole story. Now, in this session, you are going to learn two love stories. One love story, the love story between Don Gonzalo and Dona Lara when they were young. The story took place in the city Valencia. Valencia. And Marisela is the name of the bungalow where Dona Lara was living. Now she is living in Madrid city. Don Gonzalo also is living in the uh, this Madrid, the capital city of Spain, nation. And the two death stories will be explained. Two death stories of Don Gonzalo and Dona Lara. You may be surprised. Two death stories. You may be surprised. Now they are alive. How they can say their death stories? It is very important. It is called English. English contains so many kinds of twists and unknown things. It is why one love story, which is there, two death stories, which is called fake stories, fictitious story, and dummy story. Why they are saying fake death stories of themselves? How they said that their death stories, fake stories? Dona Lara says about her death story in a fiction manner, lie story. How she created her death story? How this Don Gonzalo creates his own death story? What is the real love story between Don Gonzalo and Dona Lara? 
this will be a spline. Four mark of this, this one contains so four plus four plus four. Two three two is actually a three into four tall mass. I can spot tall mass very easily today. Four mark questions so three can be learned today. Previously six mark questions that is a lengthy session with it is a mixture of so many things, so sweet and hard, it is right. Here, today you are going to learn love story, real one, and two death stories. Finally, live taking by Dan Bonjol and Dona Lara. What is the end? Tragic end or happy ending? We will come to know through this session. And then, get ready. We have written so many uh, points in it. It is unnecessary. And the first uh, learn the story. Well, after this session is over, Read the text book and continue your reading notes itself. Reading them itself. Whenever a session is over, it is your duty to read the text book and understand each and everything. If you cannot understand any tough word means on the line and note down in your notebook when you come to college or you contact me, I will clear your doubts in there. It is why today in this session opens with the love story of Dan Vangelo and Donald Lala. It is a four mark question. How does Lara describe love, the love story of her friend? One more thing here. Dora Lara says or takes the role of her best friend. Don Gorgelo takes the role of his cousin. They never say in this whole story that Don Gorgelo is the previous lover of Dora Lara. Dona Lara is the previous lover of Don Bonjano. It is why they are hiding their identity. They are not saying their original name. Dona, Don Bonjano did not say that he was a panet and he was a lover of Dona Lara. Dona Lara did not say anywhere in this story that was a panet and she was a lover of Don Bonjano. It is why they are hiding their identity through the rule of, through the form of Dona Lara says, Yengu Dona Lara is her best friend. Yengu Dan Bonjelo is the cousin of Dan Bonjelo. It is the very first thing what you must understand and I will switch over to another word. I will complete, I will complete love story and one death story here. I will continue third, second death story, third part here and the live reading also will take place in this, uh, near this part and I will switch over to another word. I will explain what is love story which you press between Dan Bajal and Dona Lara when they were young in day. Now, how does Lara describe her love story to the Dan, to Dan Gonjalo? It is a four mark question, romantic story indeed. Then, <coughs> so Dan Gonjalo says that he is a native of Valencia city. He has grown up there only. He meets Campamar. Campamar is the greatest, one of the greatest writers in Spain indeed. He met him there in Spain indeed, in Valencia. Valencia. Then he says, whether Dona Lara says or Dan Gonzalo says, it will be counted. Let us continue with the story. Dan Gonzalo says that, or Dona Lara says that, both of them are exchanging the dialogue. Let us learn this one as a story. Dan Gonzalo says that, there was a beautiful girl in the Bangla. The name of the big bangla or big cottage is Marisenda. So, in this Marisenda, it was, it is on the shore of the sea. It is covered by lemon trees, orange trees, very excellent bangla indeed. They live a beautiful girl. Her name is Lara Yorente. Once more, Lara Yorente. Now, who is in the park? Seven year old Dona. When Dona Lara was a twenty year young, beautiful girl, her name was Lara Yorente or Lorente. No doubt, Spanish name. 
So she has one nickname. She is famous as Silver Madam. Silver Madam means she is so beautiful like a silver articles. Okay, it is one. When this Silver Madam, she was called Silver Madam, both of them were surprised. Now they are coming to know that both of them were once upon a time young lovers indeed. Both of them are surprised when they hear or hear two names. One is Valencia, another is Silver Madam. Both of them are surprised indeed. But they are unable to say that those young two, those young lovers are themselves only. Why both of them have become now too old, too ugly, charmless indeed. It is why Donal and Damganjaro in the war are not saying that once upon a time they were young lovers indeed. It is when they hid their identity. How beautiful this Donal Lara is, this para is very important. Lora, Lara, Dona Lara, when she was young indeed, ideal, excellent, fair as a lily, like a flower, jet to black hair, thick black hair indeed, and sweet expression, yes, physical appearance is excellent. Wherever she goes, her beauty will be highlighted. How this Juliet, Juliet enters the, uh, this uh, dancing floor. Suddenly, all are attracted. This Romeo, after seeing this beautiful girl, he falls in love with Juliet. In this order, her figure was beautiful and perfect. These words are in the textbook. It is not created by me. Every word and letter is selected from the textbook. You don't feel that I have created this line. Everything is in the textbook itself. It is why like you don't feel that Sir has explained her beauty through Sir's words, Sir's words. It is a word given by the word itself. It is why like, now they, are, they have started to say their love story one by one, one by one, one by one. What is until now over? There was a big bungla named Marisella in Valencia city. The bangla is very excellent. On the shore of the sea, it is covered by lemon tree, orange tree, indeed. And this Lara, Dona Lara, was called Lara Lorente. She is so famous with the nickname, this silver maiden, indeed. And her appearance is so excellent, indeed. Both of them now, who are talking in the park, have become too old, 70 years old. They are not beautiful or handsome. They have become grotesque. Grotesque means ugly, charmless, indeed, shapeless, better to say. I don't like to insult any kind of person on this entire planet. Old or young, beautiful or ugly, I don't comment. It is not my job. Okay, it is why now they have started to say their love story. Both of them are saying one story, one line, another part of the story through another line, but we will take it as one name. Now, Lara is saying that she is not the original, his original, his lover. Lara takes the role of her best friend, previous his lover. Dan Gorgelo takes his previous role as his cousin. Dona Lara, Dona Lara says her best friend was the lover of the cousin of Dan Gorgelo. They are not saying directly that once upon a time they were loving, they have met here and they feel happy. No, no, no. Until the end of the story, they don't reveal their identity, original names and it is why they are saying that dummy names this one. Now, this original love story begins here. Now, now when Lala was young, she was living in the villa named Marisella, then Don Goncello was a horseman, gallant lover. Gallant means what? Brave lover indeed. She is so beautiful, she is so brave, brave indeed. Once more, she is so beautiful, this fellow is so brave. Beautiful girl, brave horseman, both of them are loving each other like Romeo and Juliet. Now what happened? Every morning, 
this kanjalo means this cousin kanjalo he is saying is a cousin story but it is his original story he has become so old it is why he is not taking his original name his cousin was going in front of the bangla of lara he would to take one bouquet of flowers he would to pass up to the up to the window of dona lara means lara your auntie she would catch it and she would keep that one with her after some time i in the afternoon before the sunset it is called what rose path in that street so many rose path rose flowers are grown and it is why rose path under the window of lara so private villa private room her bedroom window and uh, while going she was uh, staying in the first floor this fellow was riding the horse while riding the horse itself he is carrying a bouquet bunch of flowers and he would toss it from the first floor window her private room window she would catch that one she would keep that flowers with her while in the afternoon before the sunset he would come back to his house going through he is not entering the house of lara just he is moving in front of the house of lara bangla mali sarla while he is returning this lara would throw that bouquet given in the morning back to kanjalo kanjalo means gallant 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 lover and this horseman in day he would take that one both of them are smiling in day both of them have started to love each other in day so this this love story went on for some years both of them have decided to marry but the parents of dona lara was were not ready to were not ready to allow dona lara to marry dan ganjero why the parents of dona lara wanted lara to marry one rich influential the strongest merchant in the city valencia itself it is the influential influential merchant lara's parents wanted lara to marry this merchant his name is not given but both of them were upset in the one day what happened when dona lara was singing near her window dan gonjelo was listening listening to her singing he was hiding and listening to her singing suddenly hamara hero the merchant appeared he caught this dan gonjelo this merchant insulted to dan gonjelo dona lara was very much worried when this story was taking place when they were getting when they are saying now in the park as gold lovers yes please understand they are saying a flashback now story now in the park when they have become two old present condition old age past condition young lovers stage youthful stage date then the merchant and dangojalo started to fight with the nice only this acts nice nice tak 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 ever fighting 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 the first day show this fellow merchant the merchant insulted this dangojalo why he was to marry dona lara it is why he was very angry and he started to insult dangojalo means dangojalo guys and this both of them started to fight in the through the night night and day next day morning this both that this dam got jello and the merchant both of them are fighting do you fighting they came to a beach on the shore what happened in the storm with the strong power and strength this dam got jello injured wounded this merchant very badly somewhat he became unconscious and this merchant was so powerful in that city valencia and this afraid of the consequences means this merchant's supporters or family members would come and would kill this fellow who this dan gonjalo it is why because of the consequences of injuring this fellow dan gonjalo left valencia and he went to the house of dan gonjalo that means what is creating next story they until now 
until this Gangajalo live in the city. Valencia, naturally it has taken place. It is called love story and as well as why did Gangajalo leave the city Valencia? Two formal questions are included in this part itself. It is why we are afraid of the uh, problem from the merchant he left the city Valencia. Two formal questions are over. One is love story, another one is why did Don Gonzalo flee or run away from Valencia city? This is the, these are two formal questions. Now, two that two stories. That two story is created by Don Gonzalo and Dona Lara. Why? They are not ready to say that they are the personal lovers. I have explained it so many times. Now both of them are aged 70 years and both of them have become ugly, grotesque. I won't say ugly, please forgive me. I won't say old people are ugly, grotesque, shapeless, that's all. Okay, then I respect each and every one. Next one. Death is He is being said by Dan Gwantel. He is saying that, that once upon a time, Dona Lara's lover was his cousin. Dona Lara says that once upon a time the lover of Don Gonzalo was her best friend. Best friend and the cousin, both of them were lovers. Now these two old people are saying, are talking, are exchanging the love story which took place for their best friend and the cousin. Please understand. Till Don Gonzalo is running away from Valencia city is the original love story. Now, what I am going to explain is the death story of Don Gonzalo. It is a fake, fictitious, fake story, fiction, fictitious, lie story. Lie story. Which is lie story? Death stories are said by Don Gonzalo and Dona Lara are life stories, death stories are life stories. Love story is real story, original story. Now, how does Don Gonzalo create his own death? Or how does Don Gonzalo spin, spin means create, fictitious story? Now, answer begins, story continues. Now, Don Gonzalo is saying, then, after going away from Valencia city, he afraid of being killed by this merchant. After wounding him, after being caught by this merchant while he was listening to the singing of Dona Lara. Dona Lara and Don Gonzalo were lovers. The merchant was about to marry this Lara during the, when they were young in the. After leaving Valencia, this Don Gonzalo's cousin means fake name. Don Gonzalo's cousin means Don Gonzalo. It is this story, the story itself is a fake story. It is why he is saying his cousin came to the house of Don Gonzalo. He hid himself there for some days. After that one, he went to Sedile. Sedile is the name of the place. So Don Gonzalo, afraid of this one, went to Sedile. He stayed there. Sedile is the name of the place. He stayed there for some days. Later, he went to Madrid. He came to Madrid. Madrid is the capital city of Spain. He came there. Then, he, this Don Gonzalo wrote so many love letters, love letters to Dona Lara. But she was expected to marry the merchant. Then, those love letters were received by the parents of Lara. They were opening, they were reading, they were tearing. So, Don Gonzalo's love letters could not reach Dona Lara. Don Gonzalo thought, thought that Dona Lara had forgotten him totally because his love letters could not reach Lara. Gonzalo was so much upset. He and he joined the army later. Which army? Spain army. Then he was along with so many soldiers, he was sent to Africa to fight the terrorists and Naxals there and the Kaius. While in the war, while he was fighting, he was in a trench, trench means 
they put ro uh, uh, this lantern uh, deep in it. So in that big hole, where he was finding one big bomb exploded, and he tried died inside that trench only. Trench means of this uh, canal, small canal type, and he was under in that this trench only one small bomb exploded, and he uh, he was about to die. Before he could die, who Dan Gonzalez says, because of upset of not seeing, not meeting this Dona Dona Lara, his lover, his beloved, he joined the army, went to Africa. In the war, he died. Before he could die, he did two things. One, he took the flag of Spain, his mother land, mother country. He took the flag of Spain and he said the word his beloved la 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 la. That's all. He died. But this fellow Don Guanjalo is alive in the park. But he is saying that he died in the park. Now tell me, it is a fake death story or not? It is why it is called a fictitious story. We don't say lie story, death story, or this one. No, fictitious story. How does Dan Gonzalo spin fictitious story about this crisis? That's all. No clue about the death. Indeed. It is called the heart of English and PUC itself. Now, the death story on Dan Gonzalo is over. Now he says that actually, after some months, within three months, actually, he went away from this, this Valencia, went to Seville, went to Madrid. Later what happened? In virginality, in the case of real, the virginal action is after three months, he loved one ballet dancer, one young beautiful dancer. He married, he was married to her. Actually, after three months, after he left Valencia city, in virginality, the correct message is, correct action is, he was married to a direct dancer, beautiful young dancer. It is why this death story is a fake one. Now he says, this old lady doesn't know that I am that person. She, she is so innocent. This Donna Lara has believed that I, ha I am dead, I have died indeed. He says, poor Lara. I know she is so innocent that she has believed this story indeed. It is why he feels somewhat happy indeed for making Lara to believe his death story. But Donna Lara knows very well that this Dan Gonzalo is lying. Dan Donna Lara knows Dan Gonzalo was once upon her lover. Dan Gonzalo knows that this Donna Lara old lady was one, once upon his lover. Both of them know each other that they were young lovers once upon a time, but they are not ready to say about their original identity. It is called what? Death story of this one. It is called glory. So, Dan Gonzalo has created his own death story, glorified, glorified his death story through the role of his cousin only. It is called what? Fifth, uh, one, two, three, fourth. Four more questions. However, now I will switch over to another word. I will explain the death story of Lara. How this story ended, I will explain. Okay, I will switch over to another word. Ended. That's it. Um, in this uh, session, three stories are over. One is that love story. One is why did uh, Dan Kanjala play Valencia City, run away uh, from Valencia City? The death story of Dan Kanjala is over. Now, the death story. Now, the death story of Dona Lara and uh, Dan Kanjala are fake or real fake. Life story. Fictish, fiction. Fictitious, uh, fictitious story. Now, Dona Lara's uh, death story begins. After the death story of Don, Don, Don Goncello, he is sat by Don Goncello in the park to Dona Lara when they are now, they are aged 70 years, Dona Lara is not ready to leave Don Goncello. She too wants to express that 
her love her best friend was loving don gonzales fashion so deeply and day now she has started to create her own death story through the role of her best friend now she says so don donalara starts to say her own death story now she says donalara was waiting lara your aunt was waiting for her lover this kal uh, ganjalo for several years for some years for some years she could not receive any letter from don ganjalo she was so much upset and it actually letters were received by her parents only that is why she was very much upset she thought that her love was last in it her lover was last in it and one after no how when it was about to sunset my dear students for your kind information before the sunset it is called afternoon we are saying good evening at 4 pm good evening good evening 5 pm 6 pm good evening it is not called perfect english i say correctly strongly with confidence that before the sunset good afternoon after the sunset good evening 7 pm good evening 8 pm good evening before taking the leave of the day we must say good night but we are saying 3 pm good evening 4 pm good evening what kind of real english what kind of fake english we are using change your style of speaking now so one afternoon when it was about to be the time of sunset she left her house she stepped down from her first floor to ground floor so far she was taking big big speed steps in she came to the seashore she came to she came to the beach where the fighting occurred real fight took place between dan gonzalo and the merchant for the sake of lara she came to that area she came to the spot on the beach near the sand where the fighting took place she wrote the name of dan gonzalo dan gonzalo's name was written by lara and she was sitting on a big rock near the sea water then suddenly very big waves making the big sound boom and so strong and nice waves came near her and took her and she uh, that waves pulled her deep into the sea and she died on the spot itself that's it now that story of lara is going on she sat upon a big rock she was sitting big waves waves in of the sea came and took her deep in the sea she died now the dona lara is speaking or talking with don gonjalo but she says that she has died it is called a fictitious story lie story death story spinning story creating is not called here spinning lie story is not called here fictitious story you must catch this new and sophisticated words in there now so after the completion dona lara says inside aside aside means what silently yes my dear aside means not side by side according to the play here under this context the meaning of aside you can see such a aside word this word so many times whenever aside is there that is a said this silently silent murmuring dona lara says that i have created a more beautiful death story than dan gonzalo dan gonzalo says that this lady doesn't know how to create her death story he is a better creator of life stories rather than dona lara both of them have started feeling that they are aggressive and stronger indeed now after this story is over this dona lara said that after two years actually she married another person another strong person in the city valencia itself 
Donna Lara said that her best friend was dead. But actually, Donna Lara, after the departure of Don Moitala from Valencia City, she, she after, after this two years or three years, she married this one the strongest merchant in the, in the Valencia City. Another merchant or same, it is unclear in this story. Actually, she married, she was married to another person in the until this one stories are over now leave taking ceremony how this is a plan so they told each other that make glass strangers by chance discuss the romance of old friends as if they were good old friends now they say that they have discussed about the romantic story of their friends they feel that they were best friends indeed that time too they feel so indeed now this story this conversation or contact or this talking between these two old people is ending happily but what happened started with ill nature prelude means started with anger teasing joking everything indeed starting with anger closing happily it is the story then this Donna Lara called her maid now now they have come back to the present the situation present time indeed Donna Lara called Petra Petra come here Petra has come she has brought some flowers in her palm hands only it is given by the guard only the guard has told Petra to give the flowers what is the name of the flowers? Violet. Violet the flower. Fragment. Fragrant. Fragrant means excellent uh, smelling. Day. This uh, Petra has brought for violet the flowers given by this uh, card in it. Her lover itself. She gave those flowers to Dona Lara. When Petra was giving flowers, Dona Lara was taking. Some flowers have fallen down. Dan Gonzalo is noticing that the flowers are falling down. Okay, she took that one. She thanked the guard, both of them. Now, this Dona Lara is asking this Dan Gonzalo whether he comes next day. Dan Gonzalo says that if it is a sunny morning, again see, sunny morning means bright, hot morning, not cold or chilly morning. If it is a bright morning tomorrow too, he will come to the same park. Then Dona Lara asks him whether he wants to go to his regular bench in the He says, no, no, he will come to the bench of Dona Lara only. Now they have started to become friendly and they are friends in the That's it. Never. Okay. Dona Lara asks him whether he will go to his brand, his bench, regular bench. Don Dan Gonzalo says that he will come to her bench only. Not only he will come to her bench, Don Dan Gonzalo will bring bread crumbs. Why? He has scared the birds away in the beginning itself. It is why he wants to bring the bread crumbs yesterday. He says that he will bring the bread crumbs for the sake of birds. Then Dona Lara says that she is thankful to Dan Gonzalo for bringing this bread crumbs for the sake of birds himself and she feels very happy. Then Dan, Dan, Dan Gonzalo and Dona Lara are very happy in there. Both of them are ready to live. Then Dan Gonzalo calls his assistant. Oh, Jonito, Jonito, he comes back and both of them are. Dona Lara is taking the support of her maid Petra, putting her hand on, on the shoulder of this Petra. Dan Gonzalo is putting his arm on the shoulder of this Jonito, taking the support while they are working. Both of them are leaving indeed. Then, some violet flowers while receiving from Petra have fallen down on the floor now. Dan Gonzalo is bending down very painfully because he has giant pants in it. When he is about to bend down on taking suddenly, Dona Lara looks back. Oh, Donda, this fellow is that fellow. Then while she looks back, Dan Gonzalo appears, 
that girl once upon a time my lover is this old lady in there it is by both of them have come to understand that they were once upon a time young lovers they are ready to make the next day and he was taking flowers from the ground and he took some flowers and he went away through one gate she went away along with her maid another gate another gate in this order they met as enemies they left as friends and in between they were lovers once more they met here as enemies and they went away by becoming friends in the in between they were young lovers once upon a time young lovers in the okay my dear students this story is over they went out of the park let us enter our story once more and they watch this video once more understand the story after this session is over you must read the textbook without fail and read the notes to read the points remember so many tough words are there you read those all tough words understand to understand the and try to understand the meanings of the tough words in it if you can't understand any meaning of any word you have to contact me and i will clarify your doubt okay thank you so much this is a lengthy story indeed be careful and watch this one next session i may i will teach another new concept lesson or poem i will try no problem thank you so much please enjoy the session watch this two sessions half an and half an you can score 12 marks or 11 marks easily take care thank you bye bye god bless you